Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be making chicken piccata. It's a very easy dish to make and it tastes amazing. So first, here I have some boneless and skinless chicken breast that I'm going to marinate with some spices that I like. And then I like to cover it up and just leave it in the fridge for like an hour just so all that flavor can really penetrate the chicken. Also remember to pound your chicken or do a butterfly cut otherwise it's just not going to fry evenly. So now we're going to lightly dredge our chicken. Keyword being lightly, this is not fried chicken, we're not trying to get a super crispy exterior. So I made a mistake here, I used ghee instead of butter. I would say my cooking style is very intuitive and I don't think at all when I'm cooking. I rarely weigh or measure out things, unless it's like delicate stuff like for the sauce of the piccata. I did weigh out the capers because that's very easy to mess up. But normally I let my intuition do its thing and I kind of go as it comes to me. So as a result I accidentally used ghee instead of butter. But it's fine, the flavor was not impacted at all, it tasted amazing. But just in case you're wondering why the butter looks so weird, it's because it's not butter. Butter, it's ghee. Ghee by the way is just clarified butter. So here I'm making the sauce for the piccata. I'm using white wine, lemon and capers. And I went ahead and smashed some capers to really help them release those tangy flavors. Because you know if the sauce is not good, the whole dish is ruined. It's all about the sauce for the piccata. It's really important to get that nice and tangy flavor without overdoing it though. That's why I didn't go too hard on the lemon. I feel like most people go too hard on the lemon on the piccata. You gotta trust the capers, you gotta crush the capers and go easy on your lemon. It's gonna come out good. So fun fact time, did you guys know chicken piccata is not actually from Italy? A lot of research indicates that it might actually be an Italian American invention. Just like how Hakka Chinese is not actually Chinese food, it's actually a South Asian take on Hakka cuisine. At least the Hakka Chinese food that we get here in Canada. So we're practically done here, I'm just gonna plate it and make it look nice. Although I'm the worst at plating and making food look nice, but hopefully I do a good enough job here and that you guys like it. This dish was amazing though and it tasted even better. Next time you guys are trying to impress people with a fancy looking dinner but don't want to put in too much effort, this is the dish. But I hope you guys liked the video. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. Nice and easy, but more importantly, nice and lazy.